So in this video, we're going to quickly go over how to um, render our R Mark 9 documents and make them a little bit more pretty and a little bit more fun to look at. So typically when we create an R Markdown document, the output is set to HTML document. Um, and this section at the top of the document here is called the YAML header. That's Y-A-M-L. That's short for yet another Markdown language. We're working with R Markdown in here. And in here, this is YAML, which is another kind of markdown language. Um, okay, so the way we can render this R markdown document to be something that can be consumable by another person is by knitting it. Um, I don't know the etymology of the, the name knit, but it's fun and I enjoy it. Um, before we do that, I want to point you to this settings tab. Um, and I want you to click the drop down and press pre, uh, preview and viewer pane. This is gonna make the um, previewing experience of the document that we're working on a little bit more natural. So now that we've set that setting, we can click knit. And what this does is it um, takes all of the uh, raw text that we have in here and turns it into something that our eyes can consume and enjoy a little bit more. Um, right now, this is created a simple HTML document. So now if we navigate to our files, we can see that it actually exists here. And what I can do is I can view this in a web browser. So now, um, if you send this file to someone else, they have an easy to consume and pretty document that we can see in the web browser. And this is what I want you to send to me, the HTML document. The R Markdown document is really, really useful if I want to recreate what you've done. But I wanna see what you can create from the R Markdown document itself. Um, and you might be looking at this thinking, okay, it's kind of cool, but also it's kind of plain and really, really boring. What can we do to make it a bit better? Um, what's nice is that out of the box, uh, our markdown documents can be customized uh, uh, using something called CSS, which is used in web, uh, web design, but also that's, there's a much more simple way to do that. We can modify the uh, output header here, output header value here. Uh, to specify a theme. So what we're going to do is actually we're going to start creating some new lines and indenting. By doing this, we're telling the output that we're going to create some uh, additional arguments and modifications to the output. And here we're going to say, all right, well, I actually want to create a modification to the HTML document by saying the theme. And if we go to our viewer, I kind of... Uh, wrote up a little bit about themes in our markdown. So we can specify a, what's called a boot swatch theme. Boot swatch is um, some kind of predefined themes that some web developer created at some point that can be easily plugged into our HTML document. Um, and the ones that we can use are listed here. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and specify the theme to be uh, journal. So now, when I render this, it looks a little bit different, right? Or I can go with darkly. And now it's dark, which is really, really fun. I can try um, cerulean. See how that looks. It's nice and blue. Uh, so we can kind of have a little bit more fun with the way our R Markdown document looks and feels. Uh, what's even cooler here, we can create a table of contents by adding yet another kind of uh, value to the HTML doc where we see TOC is true. This is going to be an all lowercase opposed to all uppercase when we're working in R. So now when we create this, we can see that we have this table of contents that we can click and navigate through a document. But when we click on it, it kind of disappears, right? So what we can even do here even further is we can say, all right, TOC underscore float is true. So this is going to create what's called a floating table of contents. That this table of contents is going to be floating separately from the document so that when we scroll through this, it will still be available to us. So now we can see we have this table of contents that's still on the side. So as we scroll, it'll show us what part of the document we're in. And I can click back onto this to re-navigate, which is really, really fun. I'm going to change this theme to uh, Yeti, just to illustrate it again there's another theme that we can work with. Awesome. So in here, I've also kind of illustrated that we can use other styles um, that aren't out of the box with the R Markdown package itself. 
Other packages can provide our markdown templates, and there are a ton of them. Uh, some of the ones I really like are uh, from a package called Distill. So say uh, you want to use the Distill. We're going to call this function, Distill colon colon, Distill article. And now we can knit it, which is really, really cool. It looks different. It's simple. It's uh, very easy to read. But you may not actually be able to run this the first time. That's because you might not have the package. So again, if you don't have the package, we can always run in your console install.packages, the name of the package. So in this case, distill. Uh, in there are also other packages that create templates that we could use. Um, for example, there is a wonderful package uh, that I just discovered today while creating this called Clean RMD by a colleague of mine at RStudio. So this is a package that is not released on CRAN. So that means the install.packages function that we've been using won't necessarily work for us. So if we want to install this package, uh, which I recommend you do, we're going to have to use a function called install underscore GitHub. So if I go here, uh, I want to call it from its namespace. So I'm going to say, hey, from the package remotes, I want to use the function install underscore GitHub. And then this is the name of the repository that we're going to install from. You can see it up here in the URL. Git BUI clean RMD. We'll provide that here. So now if I install it, um, so right here it's saying, hey, you already have this installed and the version hasn't changed. Do you want to install it? Uh, so I'm not going to continue here, but it'll typically, it'll work for you. So what's really cool about this package is that um, we can modify the output here up at the top to say we're going to use clean RMD HTML document underscore clean and provide a null theme. And when we do this with this package, it gives us this really, really cool uh, drop down that can show us the different styles that exist in the package. So I can look at style sans or holiday. Uh, I liked the water dark when I was exploring it earlier. I can pop this up in the browser and explore how it looks here. Um, so this, now I know, oh, this is a fun one, but it looks like it's a little corrupted. Uh, so this helps me figure out what theme I might want to use. So say I wanted to settle on this uh, Cassit or, um, hmm, let's say new CSS looks simple. So I can go back here and change the theme to new.css. Now when I render this, we have this nice little output. Perfect. Awesome. So now that you know how to render our, our Markdown documents, I would love to have you navigate into your file directory and send me this HTML document so I can open it up myself in my browser and see what awesome work you are doing.